Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And for today, we are headed right back into vanilla and gourmand fragrances. They are a favorite on the channel or for myself personally. And I know a whole lot of you guys love this topic as well. Um, for today's review, it is Vanitas Profumum Roma. Um, Perfumum Roma is the brand, Vanitas is the fragrance. We have visited this brand before in the past, about a year ago, I would say. Um, Crystal Fragrance sent us over a sample of Soriso. I believe it was with our Escapade Gourmand full bottle fragrance. So we have visited this particular brand in the past, but we haven't unboxed a brand new bottle. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the presentation to the fragrance what it smells like, of course, how it performs, what I wore it with. I have been experimenting with the fragrance since October, you guys. So I've had it for quite a while, been enjoying it. I was enjoying the fragrance sample so much that I jumped in on the full bottle, you guys. So this is a good one for today. <laughs> if this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So Perfumum Roma, really nice luxe packaging, I want to say. It does have a little sleeve here for the fragrance. I got clothes hitting me. <laughs> it does have a little sleeve. And then, of course, we have our box here. I'm going to show you how it comes packaged. Okay, first off, let's just start off with that. The fragrance itself is a 2008 release, and it is an amber vanilla fragrance. Uh, so we'll get into the notes and, and all that in a minute. Uh, but let's open the box when you open your box you're gonna have your little what is it styrofoam <laughs> is that styrofoam no it's not what is this what is this can somebody help me out i have drawn a complete blank what is this foam just foam not styrofoam <laughs> um so the bottle itself comes in here so we're going to take this out it does not come with this long top here the bottle actually comes capped. I did take that little sucker out. I don't know where, oh, here it is, you guys. I found it. The fragrance itself comes with a little plunger, okay? So that it doesn't uh, spill in transit and it comes with a cap. So it's got your little plunger and it's got a cap on it as well. Um, if you ever, I wanna save that. I wanna put it in a Ziploc bag and label it, um, you know, or maybe just stick it back in the box here because if you ever travel with your fragrances, it's a good idea to just kind of throw it in a Ziploc bag and transport it safely with the stopper and the cap. Um, so right in here is where I grabbed the cap from, is where the sprayer and the, the little, um, you know, nozzle comes in there, inside the box, all of this, just attached. You don't have to do, you, you unscrew it like this, you don't have to do any cutting, or anything it just fits pretty nicely in there okay so that's how uh the fragrance goes ahead and comes out there now what else do we have in here we have a little travel roller ball container and a pipette so you can grab this pipette and get your your fragrance and then put it in your roller ball um for travel as well if you don't want to um be traveling with a big old bottle <laughs> Um, Perfumum Roma also sells 18 ml offerings. This is a very pricey brand. I'm not going to say that it's not. Um, full bottle of this 100 ml fragrance will run you $275. The 18 ml is $93. Um, but you know, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck here. You know, the presentation, the fragrance itself, uh, the performance of these fragrances from this brand from this house are really nice i've just i've been enjoying um you know the fragrance brand so something something for us you know avid perfume collector collectors or enthusiasts um that value this type of value um the price point is is good for for what you're getting <laughs> okay so that's the presentation itself i wanted to get into that because uh, I had never seen a fragrance package quite like that. Um, so I'm assuming they're all going to come like that. I'm noticing something on the back of this bottle. I did say that this was a 2008 release. There is the year back here, 2008. So it has 
uh, the year that the fragrance was released on the bottle. That's really, really interesting. <laughs> okay, guys, now, what does the fragrance hold? What is this? Why did we need a full bottle? In this fragrance, I'm going to spray it. We have notes of vani, myrrh, African orange flower, and sandalwood. The fragrance house also has very simple ingredients or simple notes. It doesn't have a whole lot of notes um, to their note structures, but they are, they do transition a little bit from the top, uh, you know, to the dry down. And they are just so rich in their quality is, is what I'm gathering from the fragrance house. Now, when this opens up, ooh, I get an instant, my nose, it's just a nostalgic, burst of I have smelled this before I am tasting it practically I get those uh, push pops from my childhood push pops right down to you know when you first smell your push pop and you open it up and you get this almost plasticky scent I get that in the way opening of Perfume and Roma's Vanitas it's not off-putting at all to me though and that is not what lingers at all that's just the initial, like I am unwrapping my push pop. I'm literally unwrapping it. I should have bought a push pop to show you guys what I'm talking about because it is exactly just takes my nose there to this clear crystal sugar. And that's what I'm smelling. Ooh, okay. So uh, it's just very realistic, uh, unbelievably realistic. Uh, and like I'm saying, if you're not sensitive at all, my nose for whatever reason is really sensitive. It picks up on things that sometimes other people don't. Um, and you know, I could just smell things. <laughs> That's why we're here, because I can smell things. <laughs> um, I do enjoy to smell things. And uh, anyways, if you're not sensitive to it, you might not pick that up at all, like not one bit. I do have a friend who says she doesn't. She's like, mm -mm, I don't get any plastic whatsoever. Um, that's just in the way opening for me though. Okay. Um, that's already gone. And I have just the sweetest, sweetest sugary vanilla. Um, almost like a cotton candy type vibe vanilla. Just very, very pure though. It is, it is not, uh, cloudy. It is not creamy. It is not milky. It is clear, crystal clear, sugary cotton candy vanilla. So if you're not a fan of cotton candy fragrances or you find them too juvenile, then this is definitely not a fragrance for you, but it is definitely a fragrance for me. Oh, that. Oh, yes. When I smelled that sweet, sweet vanilla, I said, okay, I'm going to be able to dive with this so nicely. That hangs around throughout the entire wear. You're not going to get rid of that cotton candy vibe, you know, in the background. Although as it starts to sit, you know, warm up on your skin throughout the day, you do get, you get a wonderful scent bubble, by the way. I mean, this is strong. I just sprayed what one or two sprays right now. And I feel like I sprayed 10 sprays. It is so, so strong. Love it. I love the, the, the strength, the projection and the sillage. You're going to be leaving trails of cotton candy. <laughs> just spun sugar is what I get. Now, in the dry down, you do get a little more of uh, like a, like a van straight up vanilla, uh, just like your fragrances. Maybe this is why I love this so much, but it does give me an air to Vani West Indies, which is another powerhouse vanilla fragrance. Oh, yes. Um, it, a little different, though. This one has a different air to it for certain but it gives, it does give a little likeness to the Vani West Indies and any other vanilla like this as well. Uh, for, I have another example, your sweet vanilla from Montel. That's another one that is in this same type of vanilla. Uh, you know, for me, it has an enormous presence. I mean, I mean, just enormous. <laughs> this is a really strong fragrance. I cannot believe that I even got through, you know, almost finished my sample because of how strong it was. And I have already placed a little dent here in my uh, full bottle because I've been experimenting it, wearing it since October, enjoying it, just loving it. Uh, so I will say that the vanilla does deepen a little bit in the dry down, but not too crazy. 
Um, so it's almost a linear wear is what I could say about it as well. Um, you know, after that tiny little plasticky opening, you're going to get this dry down basically as well, just a little deeper on the vanilla. Um, now, I did read quite a few reviews mentioning they get a very artificial raspberry uh, note in the opening or throughout the scent. I do not. And I love me some raspberry tones, uh, you know, or raspberry notes. And I don't get that. So don't get that at all. I just get a pure, uh, you know, sugar, just a pure sugar cotton candy type vanilla. And it is so good. <laughs> very very versatile you could pair this with so many things just be careful because it is really strong um but let me let me uh, now talk to you guys about how i enjoyed the fragrance because i enjoyed this okay Ooh, all right uh some some a little bit older you know um because i have been experimenting since october um and then a couple new releases that i was like i need to try vanitas with that <laughs> i just need to um, all right, so let's start out with then maybe things that you could just wear the body care and vanitas and you're good to go all day long. I mean, this is just a no-brainer. Delicia de Marshmallow. Delicia de Marshmallow Body Butter by Kais. I do have their uh, fragrance Eau de Parfum as well. Not needed. I feel like if you were to go in with spritzes of Delicia de Marshmallow with vanitas, you would annihilate an entire room <laughs> they'd be like they they would get a cavity is what they would get oh man this is just strong and wonderful and marshmallows you know from a bag straight up from a bag with vanilla i can detect that wonderful vanilla in here as well um so the combo here is set it and forget it type wonderfulness uh along the same lines not as strong though this is a little tapered down you just want to compliment your vanitas is marshmallow cake on mondays so so good by um oh by the house of coco pink this is a wonderful um indie brand that i have featured on the channel before i do have a, a top five video um a lot of the videos that i did when i tried out these fragrances i did quite a bit of layering as well uh because they're you know they're pretty good on the wallet and they're very enjoyable. So I love to bring these out, you guys. I just love it. <laughs> love it. Um, so I think that's it as far as what you could wear just the body care with vanitas. Although you could pretty much wear any vanilla, just any type of vanilla that you love for body care would go. Just it's that versatile. Okay. Um, now, what did I rock it with and love it? Oh, what made me like I need a full bottle of this? couple of things uh this being one this was like my october you know halloween special i feel i wore this with the vanilla bean by goose creek uh that was gifted to me thank you so much oh, i loved this this is ice cream in a bottle so goose creek vanilla bean soothing body lotion with none other than dolce and gabbana's why are you up Devotion. <laughs> Vanilla Bean, Goose Creek, Devotion, and Vanitas is a an extremely enjoyable orange creamsicle, cotton candy vanilla, just dream of a combo. If you like fragrances that smell edible, if you like uh, you know, really sweet, strong, long-lasting fragrances, this combo right here has to be the one uh, for me when it comes to vanitas i thought that this was amazing <laughs> it was just like what this is so good um so yeah devotion goes so nicely with vanitas um and that's one of the reasons why i went for the vanitas bottle instead of the other sample i have here by the way you guys i do have dulces in fondo also by perfume roma and I'm almost done here. I'm going to give you guys a full review as well for this one. I'm going to compare it to a couple of other fragrances. I did go for the full bottle of the Vanitas because I went with another orange vanilla fragrance for a full bottle purchase. So we'll get into that. This is Vanilla and Gourmand's Week. Oh, <laughs> so much to cover. Um, okay, so next, enjoyability is just through the roof on this one, you guys. 
just so good. <laughs> Um, I did speak about uh, Bunny West Indies. I would definitely pair it together um, to give it a deeper vanilla uh, because it doesn't have that deep, deep vanilla. It doesn't get super, super deep. So I would do the, this is fairly new in the collection, Fair Vanilla Candied uh, with the strawberry sprinkles and marshmallow flower that I did not detect. <laughs> I don't detect strawberry in this, you guys. Oh, dogs are going crazy. Um, and the, the St. Bart's Bunny West Indies. I would do this combo right here. Oh, any, any deliciousness there with vanilla. Okay, so next I want to talk to you guys about the Tahoda from Coco Pink. Tahoda, um, what is it? Goat Milk and Honey Body Lotion. So, so wonderful with Positivo and Vanitas here. Positivo is by Genre Perfumes. A wonderful fragrance brand. They are having an ordering window December 1st. So be on the lookout for that. I'll provide a link for you guys to be able to shop you guys. First time ever we're going to do that on the channel. If you do not have Positivo, definitely go with your Hufflepuff. However, so strong that you're going to have to double your sprays on your Hufflepuff. If you normally apply six sprays, you have to go 12. If you normally do um, you know, 10 sprays, you have to go a good 15. I'm not kidding. This fragrance is really, really strong. So it's kind of hard to change the tone of it completely. It's more just complementing it with your body care. Um, yeah, because it is so strong. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Now, since a lot of people were mentioning in the reviews that they were getting a raspberry tone, I was like, okay, why not? Let's do that. So I added uh, Cranberry Noel by the House of Cocoa Pink as well. So anything cranberry, raspberry, berries, or even berry vanilla lotion that you have in your collection, go for it. It will go nicely. Um, and then I added a spritz of essence, which is raspberry, just wonderful. Um, it has like a Baccarat Rouge 540 background to it, um, you know, but a good friend on the channel mentions all the time that it reminds her of Christmas. Yeah, it has a little bit of that frosted cranberry by Bath and Body Works vibe. Uh, so it it, does, it can remind you of Christmas. Um, so Essence, Cranberry Noel, and Vanitas is a wonderful combo. If you want to kind of give it that, that raspberry air that some people already say it has, but I couldn't detect it. <laughs> all right. Um, last but not least, this is it right here. I do have quite a bit of sprays here that I feel um, they are other performs because your body sprays are really not going to do much when it comes to vanitas. Um, you're going to need other performs, you know, something a little stronger and use that as your body spray. So I have a few here. Delau. I have Delau. Uh, we did an entire, um, you know, Middle Eastern, Eastern type fragrances on the channel. We did a lot of them. I did fall in love with quite a few. I, I have so many of those would go nicely, but Delau was one that shined with Vanitas. Um, you know, coincidentally, I was doing those weeks, and so I threw this on with the two sprays of Vanitas. I think I even mentioned it in my Delau review. Oh my gosh, it just sang. It was just so enjoyable. Um, so I went in with that Delau and Vanitas combo. So, so nice. If you do not have Delau, any fragrances in this uh, orangey, you know, citrusy vanilla combo type scents, like your Victor and Ralph's Bonbon, this one as well, just so enjoyable with Bonitas. Um, and last but not least, if you have any fragrances that have, uh, again, just like a citrus tone, but more va vanilla caramel type, like your Juicy Couture line, um, your Juicy Couture Sucre could go wonderfully here too. Um, or your Victoria's Secret Wicked or that wonderful vanilla potion that everybody went hunting for would go nicely. Um, anything caramel, citrus, you know, vanilla would go so, so good. <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, went over everything I kind of wanted to cover here with the fragrance. Uh, hat, like I said, I did experiment with it. And it was so, so enjoyable. Uh, next few um, reviews that are coming up are going to be on the same topic of vanilla and gourmands. 
we're going to be cozy. We're going to be, you know, uh, a little festive here towards the end of the year. I'm still planning on doing those top, you know, five top 10 fragrances in my collection. Uh, but I do have quite a bit here in, in the, you know, what we've brought in this past month that I want to talk to you guys about first. Okay. Uh, past couple of months, I think I've been, you know, sampling and buying full bottles and whatnot since before October and haven't gotten to show you. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, you stay safe out there. Have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.